فمثله كمثل الكلب. His example is something like a dog, like the dog. That's already offensive as it is. Because a dog is one of the creatures that can, on the one hand, lo- have loyalty, but Allah is going to describe, he's talking actually about a rabid dog or like a stray dog. We're going to see that from the language itself. Now, this dog that Allah describes, and you know, in the Quran, you get other examples of people and they're compared to animals. Like the Israelites who didn't do right by their book, they were compared to mules. They were compared to mules. But this person, even worse, they're being compared to the dog. And then what does he say about this dog? He says, If you were to put something on this dog, if you were to burden this dog with something, tie this dog to a load and he has to drag the load, he has to, the dog is made to do work of some kind, carry something, يلحث. He's going to start panting They say Yalhat means breathing heavy and sticking your tongue out, literally panting. <laughs> That's what the dog does. When, does when, someone stick, when an animal sticks its tongue out and it's panting heavy, it actually means that it's exhausted. So Allah says very specific language. He says if you put a load on it, it start, it's going to start panting. And if you were to leave it alone, Yalhat. It'll start panting, it'll keep panting anyway. It'll stick its tongue out and drool anyway. What in the world does that mean? What does that have to do with you and me and a person who had guidance? That Allah gives this strange, strange image of a dog that is being made to do a lot of work and it's panting, or if it's left alone, it's still panting. The idea of of lahath, of panting, is actually a kind of disturbance. A creature, a human being, any animal doesn't pant until they're disturbed, overwhelmed, bothered, unsatisfied, thirsty. This, this is the image of someone that's unsatiated, unfulfilled. And so our ulama commented exhaust, exhaustively on this, the use of the word hamal, to load onto it, to put a responsibility on it, is used in the Quran for revelation. This person becomes like a dog. When they hear about the religion now, they start getting bothered. Like, this is a religious person, this is a person who knows about the deen, but since they've shed away from it, now even when they hear a reminder about what's, what's, you know, what's right and wrong in their faith, internally they don't like it anymore. They're bothered by it. They're disturbed. They, they can't even find peace in prayer, in the gatherings of Muslims, in learning. They can't. And so they want to get away from this company and they want to slither away to some dark company, some bad environment. But when they go there, of course, they're still disturbed. They were hoping they could leave this place and find peace somewhere else. They don't find peace. Others have said this has to do with their unsatiated thirst. Like when they become worldly, then Allah Azza wa Jal makes their thirst for the world unending. Shaitan got behind them. They allowed Shaitan to get behind them. And now basically Shaitan makes them want to consume and consume and consume, even if there's no more to consume. What in the world does that mean? It actually means a person who's, for example, they get, they get obsessed with money. They get ex- obsessed with desire, with lust. They get obsessed with food. They get ob- obsessed with stuff. They're, they're thinking about food when they're hungry. They're thinking about food when they're not hungry. <laughs> That's all they can think about. They're, bi- they're throwing up from lunch and they're worried about where am I going to have dinner? You know? They have, they, they ha- and they get, they get obsessed with stuff. They're buried under debt and they're thinking about what can I put on my, what can I buy from my credit card now? What more can I get? People become indulged in unhealthy things and they can't stop themselves like a dog can't stop itself from panting. Whether there's a reason to or not, whether there's a need or not, whether it's justified or not, 